Welcome to the basic configuration of the CAMABKV automation for sliding gates up to 2,500 kg. At the first start, the automation suggests to run the wizard for configuring the system. If you are outside of this procedure, you can proceed to the manual configuration of the system, explained below. Let's start by setting the display language. Press the Enter key, select the language menu and set the desired language. The main menu items are Configuration, User Management, Information, Timer Management, Commands, Language, Password, and Functions menu for those who are used to programming automations with seven segment displays. Inside the configuration menu you will find all the automation configuration parameters, such as safety and times. In our case we will proceed with a basic configuration through the guided procedure. The first parameter to configure is the type of system. This defines whether the gate is composed of a single or double leaf. In the case of a double leaf, two automations will be needed. The opening direction allows you to set whether the gate opens to the right or to the left. In our case it opens to the right. The BKV has a terminal block dedicated to wired safety devices with four input terminals to connect photocells and clean or resistive contact sensitive edges. The wizard asks us to set the first safety input CX, choosing between specific functions for photocells and sensitive edges in case of obstacle detection. In our case we will set the pair of photocells in C-1, i.e. gate reopening in case of obstacle detection during closing. Once the CX wire input is set, you move on to the next ones, CY, CZ and CK. In the presence of the Rio radio system, it will be possible to set radio safety devices such as sensitive edges and radio photocells. The AST function allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the automation to obstacle detection. It is recommended to initially set the average value. To program a transmitter, the AF board must be installed inside the control panel. First select the function to be associated with the transmitter button, and confirm with Enter to proceed with the acquisition of the button. Press the button to acquire. The display confirms the memorization and the user number associated with that button. The procedure will wait for the acquisition of a new transmitter. If no new button to memorize is received, the procedure will move on to the next step. Let's move on to calibrate the automation. Press Enter to start the procedure. The calibration will make four movements, two slow and two at normal speed. Once the operation is completed, the automatic gate will be correctly calibrated. To set the automatic closing time, select the configuration menu, then select times, and finally select automatic closing. Set the number of seconds before closing and confirm with enter. To control the gate you can use one or more of the five command inputs. Stop, opening, partial opening, closing, and programmable command. In case of using input 2 and 7, it will be necessary to configure the type of command between, step by step and sequential. All the configuration and much more can be done via smartphone, thanks to the Kame key, the tool for easily configuring all your Kame automations from your phone. There are many other options and functions that can be found in the manual, which we invite you to consult on the website docs.kame.com. We hope we have been useful to you, and thank you for choosing Kame for your automatic gate.